So the lighting isn't so good, but that's all right. Maybe we'll close that one. That might help a little bit. And then we'll just get this up here. <clears throat> and it's recording, so. Hey, this is Pastor Scott. We're at Carl's. We're about ready to get started. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. God bless you. And let's have some fun. standard version um, and it says this for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life this is going to be the focus scripture for today and for the coming month or so for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but in order that the world might be saved through him let us pray Father, that you will be glorified, that you will be magnified, and that your Holy Spirit will control every aspect of this service and this study, that people will feel comfortable in themselves and being used by God. And Lord, we ask that your angels are around and with us, and your Holy Spirit is here, keeping us protected and guiding us as we study your scripture as friends and family here. We give you all the glory, and we give you all the praise, and with words not of my own, I ask that you speak to your people today in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All righty, hit it, Jerry. This is we call him Jerry Cash. Uh, and then keep it on. Yeah. I'm a Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine
So, Jerry, I'm going to start with you, my brother. Uh, I'm Jerry, and uh, just like this before, just more of the Word and more about Jesus. All righty, and then back here in the back, just keep it on me, so just in case people right. don't want gotcha. to videotape you. All right. Scott, and more of the Word. More of the Word. And then over here. Emily. Emily. More of the Word. More of the Word. And my brother right here. Chris, more of the light. <laughs> Chris, more of, more of the light, and yeah. not that light, the light from above and behind. And then the video camera, thank you for your service. Turn it over here. And what's your name? Mike. Mike. What's up? Worst, worst than nice. And then back in the back there? Martha, everything. Martha, everything. And then uh, my brother right here? Eric and whatever the Lord wants to teach us. Eric and whatever the Lord wants to teach us. And my brother right here? Peter. Huh? Peter. Peter? 
You learn more about the Bible and over here in the purple shirt. Terry and anything God wants to do. Terry and anything God wants to do. My brother here. Yeah. Bring it. More of God and get closer, Mickey. And how about you, my beautiful wife, whose birthday was just yesterday? Happy birthday again. What do you want? She's Diana. She's here to Jesus in here. She wanted to be with you guys. And my sister right here. My name is Bridget. I just want to do God's service. Thank you. Bridget, God, sir, and one more. My brother right here. Huh? Angel. Angel. Oh, there you go. See where it's still working. One more about God. My brother here with the cool hat. Thank you. 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 They're maybe all right. Come over here on the other side. <laughs> but you're, you're in food with us, right? Yeah. And I got to know you. But what's your name? Ken. 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 All right. Yeah. <coughs> 21 out of the day. One more out of time. My brother here. One more about the Bible. My brother from what you have? Mo. Mo. What do you want to know, Mo? Peace. With the tiger. Peace. I like that. Peace. My brother over here. outside to the masses and then he spent time with his friend. Did you have a question? No, that's so the Jesus model. He preached outside and he spent time with his closest friends and they dug into scriptures. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. So since we do have some time, I'm gonna go over the plan that we do as a family, and that me and Diana are doing with you. I'll explain that, and then as soon as the food gets here, we'll eat, we'll have some quiet time, and then we'll open up the study, okay? Does that sound cool? Yeah. All right, today we're gonna be studying the word saved, but let's go over the plan. Jesus, Ma, I'll explain the thing. All right, I'm running track. This is a signed copy, and I show it to you guys every time. If you would like one for yourself, please, Raise your hand and either Bridget or Diana will get you a copy. And it is, and it's an elf for you. This is the plan that we are doing as a family together. This is our sign copy. There's my name, my wife, me, the Bridget. We got one in the back. My uh, sister Maria, one over here. And then Diana signed for the Holy Spirit. I'm just going to go, yep. And some of you guys might already have it. But we're, after this week, we're going to change the memory scriptures. So we'll need to get you a new one, or you can just write it. The on. Right there, on the back. So this is the nope, plan we're doing. We're basically sharing with you what has worked for me since the time that I came to Jesus. And I myself used to be locked up. I used to be on the streets. Used to be on drugs. Used to do all those kind of things. But doing something similar to this is what's kept me grounded through the tough times. And mind you, I share this with you right now, friends and family. I'm going through, and Diane and our family is going through probably the hardest time that we've ever gone through. Dad was diagnosed with cancer two years ago, and the doctors just said there's nothing more they can do for him, and they sent him home 
on his birthday to hospice at the house and just gave him a few weeks to live. So if anybody has a heart to pray for Rod, that's my dad's name, you keep him in prayer. We're going to stand on God's word that we're going to see a miracle, and then he's going to live for years to come. Yeah. So you just say it. We got, we got brothers and sisters that are being healed all the time. Yeah. But this is what kept us grounded. Me and Diana are doing this with you. The first, uh, the memory scripture, yeah. let's go to step one. First, seek God first. That means pray about everything. Seek God first in anything you do. Talk to God. If you don't know how to talk to Him, it's basically just opening up your mouth and speaking, or praying inside yourself, or ask Him to speak to you through His Word, or however you're comfortable. Talk to God. Seek God first, and that means pray about everything. Me and Diana pray about everything. I mean everything. We're only here at this location because of prayer. We didn't know this side was here. We didn't know that we were going to have faith, but the Lord told us to come here because we do Tuesdays preaching over there at the Mercy House, so we thought it would be better to add a study where we can start to learn more and also learn about what's going on in each other's lives so we can start to pray and get some change and become friends. So seek God first. And step number two is the three P's. I use P's as in green P's. And as a funny saying, I used to say, uh, give peas a chance instead of give peace a chance. Green peas are the smallest, most effective, most, they contain the most nutrients. These are spiritual. Green peas, Mama always used to say, eat your green peas, son. You know? And eat your peas, eat your vegetables. The, yeah, eat your vegetables. Well, this one, we don't have to taste nothing. I wasn't really too fond of vegetables, and I still am not. But... These ones are simple. The first is pray the Psalms and Proverbs. Very simple. First thing you do before you open up the Bible is you pray and you ask the Holy Spirit to help you understand. We can read the Bible topically and get some stuff out of it, but if you ask the Holy Spirit to guide you, the deep truths of the Word will start to come out as you start to read. The second is Psalms. Pray Psalms. Today is what, the 19th? Yep. So you open your Bible to Psalm 19. And in Spanish, I don't know what that means, but if you could please tell the guys back there, Psalm 19. You read the whole thing. You read the whole psalm. There's enough psalms if you guys really feel like reading more, you can read up to five psalms a day because there's 150 psalms in the Bible. So you can add, when you start to get comfortable, you can add another one. I do right now too, I do. The first, the match is the month, and then I do 31 on the first, and then 32 on the second, and 33, so the last number matches with the day that that's what it does, so I don't get confused. <laughs> and then the last one is Proverbs. Same thing, Proverbs of the day. Open up your book and you read Proverbs 19. There's enough Proverbs, there's 31, so you can get through all the months. And at the beginning of the month, we start over again. Don't worry about the month starting over again and reading the same thing. God's Word is living, powerful, and active, and it, it speaks differently all the time. I've been doing this for probably about five or six years, and, I, and I've been doing a verse for the day. And some of you guys that, that ask for a pastor to contact you, I'll ask you the same question. Whether it's okay if I put you on the verse for the day for my family and friends, and I'll send out a verse. I've been sending out a verse from Psalms and Proverbs for over five years. The Lord speaks differently each time in a different word. So the three P's, if we could say them together, are pray, pray Psalms, Proverbs. Let's say it again. Pray, pray Psalms, Proverbs. Go bam, and that's it. And we're going to see later, we're going to add something in the evening. So that's the morning. First thing you wake up, you do that. Don't care where you are. I used to do it in prison. I used to go on the streets. I used to do it wherever. It doesn't matter. Open up the Bible. Three, the memory verse. That's Matthew 6.33. If you guys remember that, you will get no. a no. raffle for a chance no. to win the gift card from Carl. So you guys can come back and get something on your own. And there's three ways to get one of these. Now that scripture memorized, invite a friend and bring that friend to me or bring your Bible. And we're going to open up towards the end. We're going to start giving these out to the people that have done those things. And then someone's going to get a chance to win. So he's got two. He's got one. So the memory verse is Matthew 6.33. And it says, but seek first the kingdom of God 
and his righteousness. And all these things will be added to you. And then step number four, I just put pray and read the day out. I didn't know how any other way to say it, but pray the day at the end of the night, at the end of the evening, whenever you're going to try to go to sleep. Pray. And throughout the day, you pick up different things. Throughout the day, people say things. And I'm hammering this stuff on you guys every week because I want you to get it. You pick it up, a horrible word. You pick up bad news like we did with my dad. You pick up good. You pray about it. Then you open up your Bible and you turn to the Gospels and read one of the New Testament. You can start with the Gospel of Matthew. Open it up and read one, you know, and then continue to go on all the way through Revelation. Don't be scared of Revelation. That's the Revelation of Jesus Christ. There is some interesting things in there that are very hard to understand for some people, but as you ask the Lord, He'll give you your under His understanding of those scriptures. And then the last step is step number five, which is repeat daily, and then come to Tuesdays, which is over at the Mercy House, at the check-in center, where you guys check in your clothes, some of you guys, that around 9, 9.30, we show up, we have a whole, but probably about three, 400 pounds of food that uh, Young Shin has made and the team have made all throughout the week and collect from different places and bring it to you guys. Get there, get the preaching of the word in a, in a, in a sermon form, and then show up on Sundays and bring your friends. Got it? Yes. Amen, yes. amen, amen. 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 And this thing only is as successful as we make it. Me and Diana, give you guys the invites. We ask you guys to invite friends. I want you guys to be as only as, as it can be. So the food should be here shortly. I told them three o'clock. Usually it seems to go a little, a little faster than this. That's interesting. Yeah, top news today. Yeah, we got bam. Back up in the room. So as far as the study, I gave about four. Who's got some four? Who's the four volunteers? So you got one here, one there. And here comes the food. We got one over there. Where's the? And, and then my brother here. The focus scripture for everybody is going to be John 3, 17. If you have a Bible, you turn to John 3, 17. If you need one, we have these, but you have to have good eyesight and have a spray that your eyes or heal right in the spot so you can read it really small. <laughs> huh? John 3, 17. John 3, 17, we're going to focus on that scripture today. We're going to focus on the word saved. Focus on the word saved. Then we'll get this started. The food starter will also. I would like that each of you that has one of the, that's a volunteer, open up your, the, the Bible study material to the area that says John. If we're in John, please turn to John. And three, yeah, ch uh, chapter 3, verse 17. And if you have a Bible, go ahead and just turn there and start to look at the scripture, start to get it sunk in. Right? Okay, yes, you have that? We have pens? Huh? A Bible. Small one, really? We have fine lighters and pens available and paper. So the food is about here. But while we're at it, volunteers, look at this stuff. Whoops, you just lost. Terry looked up at John. Go to turn to John. Yeah, she's going to be the first one to tell us. And then I might as well do the review from the last month. We're closing out the study on Matthew 6.33 and moving on because last week we came up with the group, the word salvation. We're going to start going into that, but we learned over the past few Bible studies that Matthew was a tax collector. Matthew was a tax collector. Back in those days, tax collectors, just like they are today, aren't looked at such good people. They were considered really bad scam artists. We also learned that Matthew's name is called Gift of Yahweh. Gift of Yahweh. Can anyone tell me what Yahweh means? When the Lord... What's that? Yes, but uh, Matthew's name is gift from God. But Yahweh, when the Lord uses Yahweh, that's what? That's his personal name. <coughs> Yahweh is God's personal name. Yes. Here you go, Bubba. 
Yahweh is God's personal name. When God, when you see Yahweh in the Bible, that's Him introducing Himself as a person to you. We also learned that the Gospel of Matthew is the only gospel to use the word church and the phrase kingdom of heaven. You might think that there's other gospels that use the word church, but the gospels do not use them. We also learn that the word righteous through a word study, which we're going to do today, was used 302 times in the Bible. 302 times. Amen. And we learn that when it says, but seek first the kingdom of God, that means to seek God's salvation first. Because if you don't get God's salvation and you miss heaven because you didn't seek salvation, then you go to hell. What good is everything else, right? Well, it's bad. It's all bad. And then <laughs> salvation bad. means to be saved from or being saved continuously. It's a continuous process. Being saved, and then we also, from a sister over here, uh, she had asked and said that a lot of people don't know what they're being saved from. And to sum it up, we said we're being saved from the effects of sin and from death, which is eternal death, which is heaven, right? And that's what we've learned <coughs> as a group over the past couple of Bible studies, amongst other things, but those are the things that stuck out for me. So we need, uh, are we about ready to do a few more minutes? A few more minutes? And then we're, everybody's wearing gloves, right? That's helping the food, so. Who has the Bible, Jerry? You got your John? I'm going to go to John and tell me what the book of John means in 10 words or less. Tell us what the book of John means in 10 words or less. Just for the lettuce. Or one sentence summary. Jesus is the time working son of God who gives eternal life. Okay, let me reread that. All right. The book of John, which we are in, in one sentence or less, the summary is Jesus is the sign working Son of God who gives eternal life on the basis of his death and resurrection to all who believe in him. Can you tell me what it says who wrote who wrote the book of John? What does it say? Yeah, but I can't hear it. Yeah. So it's the John the Apostle. So John was written by the Apostle John. We also are you guys familiar with what synoptic gospels mean? Synoptic gospels? Is John is John a synoptic gospel or not? Megan, stay over here. Yes. No, he was correct. It is not. The synoptic gospels are Matthew, Mark, and Luke, which basically means that those ones tell a similar story, but from a different perspective. John is completely separate from that, and he does those things, and there's a lot of different stories that John shares in there. Food is almost ready. Yes. Yes, John goes into more of a theological description of things, where the other ones are more talking about things that they saw, like a recording, like a recorder. John goes into a deeper revelation, and there's a lot of theology based off of what he says. Now, let's see if we can find anything else in here. This one is the one that we, we want. Yeah, we ha I have another one in my house, so I should have brought it. I thought this was the same exact one. So let's see what it says. The allegability. Who has the, the big word book? I know. 
All right, could you look up the word city, please? Yeah. All right. And I'm going to share with you guys today how to do a word search. I'm going to try and explain it. And when we're in the, the, these uh, study Bibles, we're going to look and see what the professor said. And then we're also going to learn how to use the cross-references. So you guys can see how pastors put together, you know, old school style. We might use a program now, but... Um, so look up saved and tell me what it says next to save or saved. Saved and you save. Uh, there's saved. What is it? The first number is saved. 104, right? 104? Yeah. Okay. So out of the strong concordance, what is the strong concordance? Can anyone tell me what the strong concordance is? The strong concordance is every, every word in the Bible in the King James Version. It is all in there, documented in the language that was written. Can anyone tell me what language the book of John is in? Hebrew or Greek? Greek. Okay, we got the Hebrew and two Greeks. Anybody else? What is the book of John written? Hebrew or Greek? Greek. Three Greeks, one Hebrew. Anybody else? So Hebrew. He's going Hebrew now. We're up to two. English. Well, it is in English now, but the original text was either Hebrew or Greek. John was written in Greek. Originally, they wrote everything in Hebrew. It was, Greek was, we could say, the English of that time. It was the, the commerce language that everybody spoke for the most part in that time. Roman rule was the rule. The Romans ruled more territory than we've seen any kingdom ever on this earth. They had control of everything. It was written in Greek. So now that we know that's written in Greek, we're going to look in the Strong's Concordance. He looked up the word save or saved, and it is used in the Bible 104 times. Now, can you tell me, look up um, the scripture that we're, we're at. We're at John, right? Yeah. So we're going to look at John. And he, what he's doing now, just so I'm teaching you guys this, so you can start to learn how to use this stuff. When you guys get on your feet, you start, you know, get, or you go to libraries and stuff, you can start to learn how to do this on your own. If you want to know a certain subject, you can look this stuff up. Do you have a question? Yeah. What kind of Bible would you get to get a, the reading and the reference? The reading and reference would be a study Bible. That's what we have two of these. Yeah, this is a MacArthur study Bible. He has a Holman Christian study Bible. What's a Bible? MacArthur study Bible. Okay. You just go into any Bible bookstore or Christian bookstore and get a study Bible. Okay. All right, Lifeway is right off of uh, Kramer and, uh, what is that? Kramer and Imperial Highway, I believe, somewhere over there. Yeah. All right, so he's going to look into the Greek. And ladies, are we about ready? All right, are, are we ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, so who would like to volunteer to pray to uh, say grace for us? Anybody? The feel? I do say grace. Well, just pray for the food. Okay, okay. Yeah. You want to pray for the food? Yes. All right, so pray. Stand up and pray. And uh, give it loud so we can, we can kind of hear. Okay. All right, let's bow our heads and pray. Thank you, brother. Heavenly yes. Father, we thank you for these abundant gifts you brought to us and for the dinner we participate with the Holy Sacrament and your body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you with grateful hearts, and we praise you. Amen. 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 All right. So line up. We'll get some food. We'll get a little bit of music. And then we all will continue later. Uh, yes, sir. There's water. There's water cups right here. Yes, sir. Yes. Want me to turn it off now? Uh, you okay. want me to stop um, just leave it rolling. We'll just roll. turn it to okay. to the ladies. Right, so, so yeah, just bam okay. right there. Yeah. Yep. And then there should be water and cups right there. Yep. What, one in the car? Huh?
So guys, we're just going to chill for a little while. Sorry the lighting isn't so well. Um, I don't know why it's so dark in here, but we got the backlights as, as the day progresses. It probably will get better, but we're going to just have some silence for a while so we can enjoy our food, and then we will get back into the study. Um, just recording this so you guys can see what we're doing out here, and um, it would be a blessing, especially for our prayer warriors, and if you're praying, pray. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
So good then. But mine is from time to time. Write that down. Four nine. That's a four nine eight two. Yeah. You see, there's a whole bunch of them that are four nine eight two. But you just you look up the, you, the, the number in the dictionary, yeah. like the the list of it. Yeah, like you did. We find it, and then we go to the Hebrew or Greek. And then now you can start going. The first one you see this last tab. Yeah. This is the Hebrew. Mm -hmm. So that would be Old Testament. It's Old Testament scripture. Yeah. And you want to go to the, the this one here. Okay. And look for the Greek number that matches that. Um, Scott and I both invited these two. So oh, okay. So you get uh, Scott will get a ticket. Too. Oh, Scott. Scott. Oh, yeah. He gave. He did he give you a ticket or? No, we both invited them. Both. Okay. So there you go. Bam. All right. Thank you. All right. Yeah. yeah. So. So then. So what did we say it was? Uh, 3982. So when you, when you get done, for that, look for third, that, that number, 3982. Uh, no, they want us to just use the water. That's, that's part of the gig. I don't know if it works. The ice team might, but. And then turn there and then find your spot. And we'll, we'll, uh, check it out. So right now, like I said, we are doing Bible raffle tickets for um, anybody that remembers the scripture, Matthew 633, or brings a friend, or brings their Bible, and then the next thing we're going to look at, my brother, what's your name back here? Huh? Mike is going to tell us what save or saved means. We, we uh, see that it was used, uh, what, 104 times in the Bible, which I actually am quite surprised because I would think it would be used more, honestly. Um, but we're going to find out exactly what it means in Greek and uh, go from there. No man. Where are you? 
few more minutes, folks. Uh, thank you for bearing with us. Uh, just want to kind of give people a chance to get their grub, at least the majority of everyone, and then we'll get started again here in a few minutes. And it is now 3.20. We'll get wrapped up in about 15, 20 minutes, depending on how the Holy Spirit leads us. Uh, 